Hola, buenos dias, mis amores. It's so good to see you, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And I am currently um, in my backyard, surrounded by all of my cactus and succulents. And this is my happy place with my planners in front of me filming a planning video. This is definitely my happy place. And so I'm just so happy and so glad that you are joining me today for a flip through of my mega happy planner solar system so if you're interested in seeing all of the spreads that i did for this current week as well as all of the spreads that i've decorated for the upcoming week which is a total of 30 spreads <laughs> and you're interested in seeing this whirlwind through my my solar system just keep on watching So my Happy Planner solar system is divided into two planners. I have my workhorse here in this colorful leopard planner, which has a lot more of my functional stuff. It has my work stuff, my fitness, my household, my budget, um, my nonprofit work in here. And this beauty over here, which has the pressed florals cover and is on these gorgeous lavender and hot pink metallic expander discs. She is more of my fun planner. She has all of my hobbies in her and um, I use use this one, these planners, less as planners and more as workbooks and journals. If one day I don't have a lot of time, I tend to not work in this planner as much as I work in this one. And that's how I have my planners separated. I currently have 15 planners and they're divided seven planners in here and eight planners in here. And I have one month usually for each planner in each, you know, mega planner because obviously I can't have all a lot of months in each planner otherwise these discs would just not be capable of supporting such greatness but some of these planners i definitely do have two months worth either i have uh, the month previous or the month the upcoming month so to quickly recap the sections that i have in here the seven planners that i have in here are my mood planner my spirituality and magic planner my academic planner my fitness planner my household planner my nonprofit work planner and my budget and then this baby here has my garden planner, my zen and mindfulness planner, my journal, my current events planner, my social planner, my reading journal, my language learner planner, and my four lizard YouTube planner. Yes, that is a lot of planners, definitely a lot of planners, but for me it's fun. It's a passion. It combines two of my greatest loves, which is artistry and creativity with organization and administration. I'm a Taurus, so that makes perfect sense to me. I remember when I first started planning, I totally never thought I would ever get past two or three planners and then suddenly something clicked in my head and I realized that planning is definitely something that doesn't have to take a lot of time it actually creates more time because you be just become more organized you're able to be more efficient with your time having more planners definitely makes me feel like I just expanded my time my available time because everything is so well organized and it's also very motivating for me as well in addition i am a data scientist and i work with humongous amounts of data on the day to day and so working with 16 planners for me is not that crazy because i do work with huge amounts of data um, on the day to day so i'm going to quickly flip through all of the spreads that i have done for last week and this upcoming week so you can kind of see um my spreads that I filled in after the week as well as spreads that I have not filled in at all because they're for the upcoming week. So let's get into this. I have my cover page, which I love, the calendar pages and an envelope with some stickers, a folder with some stationery and productivity sheets, my sticky note dash, um, uh, some stickers and we get into my first planner here which I have this bookmark that says mood and I use scrapbook paper to kind of separate each planner section from each other so I use a skinny mini for my mood tracker I actually got this to be my gardening planner and realized it was way too small for that purpose and so I repurposed it to be my mood tracker and I am having a lot of fun with this but I don't think I would ever use a skinny mini for anything ever again because um, 
it's just way too small it's too small i use this planner just to write an affirmation every single day to write a prayer to write a wish to write a dream it's kind of like my positivity planner in that um every day i just choose to spend a minute literally it's a minute maybe even less every single day writing something positive for me and my life so this was the current spread it wasn't my favorite <laughs> i was trying to experiment with using like washi tape in a vertical uh format and i wasn't a huge fan of that and it just seems kind of random to me but i really really love the spread that i did for the upcoming week i used some um sweet kawaii design stickers i believe these stickers are called i always forget the names of these of these brands but it's a crafty type of sticker book and i think it's so so cute so that's my spread for the upcoming week and then this is what a blank spread looks like so that's my mood tracker journal thing following that i have some daily sheets um, with some schedules and then i have some wellness journaling it sheets and then some just blank filler paper that i can reach for if i want and then i have my bedtime routine and my sleep section where i keep track of my sleep and then we have my second planner section which is my magic and spirituality section and so i have some scrapbook paper um, which i decorated dividing that and i have my aztec calendar here and this is a color block disney mickey mouse dashboard layout and let's flip to the current week let me pull this out so this is the current spread this week i used some stargazer type stickers from a recollection sticker book and this is the upcoming week which i used again that same sticker book my spirituality and my faith revolves around a lot of natural phenomena like the universe the planetary motions the horoscopes and so i keep track a lot of 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 a lot of those movements and so these stargazer sticker books are just absolutely um, perfect for this particular planner spread heads up we have a full moon in aquarius on the 23rd so definitely tune into that lunar phenomena so there we go and then we just have the blank pages and then the next section is my academic section which is my work basically i am right about to graduate um, from a phd program and then i will be a full-fledged doctor but i still have a year to go um, but my academic section is basically my full-time job so this was the current week here i used a glam girl sticker book from the happy you planner and it's super cute and then for the upcoming week i went with a colorful rainbow type spread and i used a combination of pastel stickers and um again the sticker book from sweet kawaii design which has a lot of the, like the crafty type stickers in it very very cute happy with how that turned out and for this planner i'm using an undated mickey mouse vertical format which is perfect for my academic section because it's just it allows me so much freedom and it has this built-in to-do list on the side which is essential for me and then i have my fitness sticky note dashboard a bunch of fitness stickers my july oh no this is actually my june my june um fitness and actually let's get to these spreads here so this is the current week here and i have been really loving having my hydration tracker here on the side it's been really motivating me to stay hydrated and i use my fitness planner very very functionally i do not decorate it too much i tend to um just write in it a lot more the fitness planner has changed my life it has changed my life everyone i just want it to be known that i credit the happy planner for my weight loss journey for my uh improving and increasing health I feel like I've been on my health journey for years now and I have still been struggling with certain things and getting the, the, the fitness planner from the happy planner just flipped the switch for me. It really did. I am seeing noticeable changes in my lifestyle, in my diet, in my body and my skin and it's 
it's been such an amazing journey so this was the current week and then this is the upcoming week and i'm so excited to be working in this week because it's so so cute i used some of these um recollections stickers from michael's um i think the sticker book is called sweet sunshine and it has a lot of these kawaii food stickers which are so so cute so that's what this week looks like let me put my bookmark back in and then we go into my household section i have a bunch of household stickers in here and then the monthly let's skip to the current week here okay so this is the current week in my household planner i have my grocery list here and my bookmark so this is what this spread looked like I love the dashboard for household because it already has a built-in errands section and a built-in to buy list. And I tend to experiment with this middle section here. I've been loving using it for habit trackers lately. And this focus on section down here, I actually really love the grid that it has. And so I've been trying to really work with the grid section and perfecting my morning routine here and um, getting out the door by a certain time. So I've been really working on that there. And here on uh, the weekly spread side, I tend to um, just write any chores that I'm doing, need to do. I do a lot of my meal prep planning here on this side. And then this is the upcoming week. I actually ended up using, again, that same Sweet Kawaii Design crafty sticker book. So that's where all these stickers come from. And I think it looks super, super cute. And again, I'm loving this grid section down here to work on my morning routine and just break it down by all the things that I wanna do in the morning. So we're gonna try this new morning routine this week and see if I can be out the door by 7 a.m. So I'm really, really excited to give that a go this week. So let me pop these back in. And let's skip to the next section in here, which is my nonprofit section. So this is all of the community service that I do as a data scientist and as an educator. So there's my monthly, let's skip to um, the current week. So this was the current week. I have a super cute Mickey Mouse bookmark down here. And uh, I had a busy week for my nonprofit and community service work. I'm very active in the organizations that I'm part of. And being part of a science communication organization, I am an artist, so I do a lot of doodles and drawings for that organization for them to share on their social medias. Um, and so I was working on a sketch here. One of the reasons I got this particular planner for this, uh, for this work is because it's super, super neutral. And I really liked that idea for drawing and doodling. I've been getting slowly back into doodling and drawing in this planner. So I drew that last week. And so something that I've noticed that really helped me is to like mark out a spot in the planner um, with washi tape to like create a frame. So it kind of is very obvious that I need to fill it in. Um, and so I've been, I was doodling something here yesterday. I need to finish that today. But that, this spread, um, I actually really liked how this spread came out. And then this is the upcoming week's spread. For some reason, I really, really like to use kind of a neutral muted color story in my nonprofit work, probably because um, sometimes I deal with very like uh, serious issues when it comes to my community service. And so sometimes it's kind of like jarring to have really bright and fun stickers in this section. And as you can see here, I already built my frame for my weekly doodle there. So that is my nonprofit work. And then my last section in this planner is my budget section. And we're just gonna skip that one because it has all my financial information in there. And honestly, it's kind of boring. I don't really decorate it too much. So there we go. And those were the seven sections that go into my Colorful Leopard Mega Planner. And that is just one part of my 
Happy Planner solar system. All right, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a part two. I'm gonna split this video into two parts just like I did last week because um, it's gonna be way too long if I try to cram it all into one video. So I'm just gonna uh, say goodbye now and I hope you'll catch the second part to this mega Happy Planner solar system grand tour. Um, and definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Which section do you like the most of all the sections in my colorful leopard planner? And um, yeah, just let me know. All right, beautiful people. I'll catch you in part two.